Hey! So today we're going to do something very exciting, um, which is we're gonna play dress up games? Don't ask, like I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue what this channel should be about, so I'm just gonna play some dress up games. Dress up games. Okay, so, but what I'm really trying to do is I'll just play some like historical dress up games and we'll see how well other are made. Um, what can I search for? Let me just look for... Okay, Victorian... Victorian. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll start with the promising solo less Victorian, because it sounds kind of like me. Okay, that's my phone. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it smaller. Okay, but it actually doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna start with the stockings. Jesus, I forgot the name for like a millisecond. Then I'm gonna do the corset. Then I'm gonna do the bustle. I'll just pick like a pet coat. Why is it under the bustle? Oh, well, why? Then I'm gonna do the corset cover. This is actually pretty accurate, to be completely honest. I don't really know what this one's about. <laughs> but I'm guessing... Oh, 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 no, no, how do I... How do I get rid of that? No! I don't want it! Oh my god! Oh, so that's undergarments, isn't it? Ooh, okay. This one's pretty good, actually. Uh, I like this one. Oh my god! This- oh, oh, oh no. Um, okay. This one looks a bit like what I wore for um, Victorian Ball in Bath. Now, accessories. Uh, oh, oh, oh my god, I can change her faces! Is that why she's soulless? Does she look soulless enough in this one? Yeah, I think so. Why would she be holding a kettle like that? She looks... It looks so less enough to me. Ten out of ten would wear. Okay, let's look for something else. Let's go for... Retro... Retro. Some of these look suspicious, like retro nurse. Okay, this one says real retro, so I'm guessing it's like real real. I get a, like a five second ad for a ten second game. Um, yeah, well, okay, so this hairstyle looks um, like she forgot to take the pin curls out. Uh, 80s? Uh, well... Oh. That's actually a pretty decent design. <laughs> well, that's not. Um, if I had to like rate this game on a retro scale, it would be like... 2009. Okay, so we're gonna play um, <laughs> Rapunzel and Ariel 20s fashion contest game. Which I'm really excited about. Because I'm 23 years old and this is what I'm supposed to do in my spare time. Play. Are they like checking out flapper pics? This is so cute. Oh my god! I get to do like Rapunzel's makeup. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you into a flapper, baby. You just watch. I'm just gonna make her like Marlene Dietrich sort of eyebrows. Okay, these dresses are not 
the most flapper that I've ever seen. Um, neither are the 1920s. I would say some of them look a lot of, like 1930s. Close enough. I'm just gonna pick... This one looks pretty decent, I guess. Oh! oh! Just some nice tea straps. Uh, of course, there is a black lace headband. Of course, there is one. You're ready, baby. You're ready to slay. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of Ariel, so I'm just gonna make her look decent, but definitely not better than the other one. I'm just gonna make her eyebrows thick so she's not historically accurate. I'm pretty sure the judges of the fashion contest would notice that. Okay, so why does Ariel have better hairstyles to choose from? Like, this one is pretty cool. This one is pretty decent as well. This one is nice. And so is this one, whereas Rapunzel had like three hairstyles. Is it because she has long hair and it's harder to do? Disgusting. I'm just gonna pick like the worst one. I'm kind of torn because I really like this one, but I don't want her to look good. So I'm just gonna make her wear this one instead. How about this one? Oh yeah, this one's pretty bad. An awful hat that has nothing to do with 1920s. And then you're gonna have this handbag and pink shoes that don't match. What? Are you serious? It's a tie? I hate this game. How about 1940s? Oh my god! This one actually looks pretty decent. Oh, why is this? Oh my god. This is my favorite so far. It basically looks like someone studied like the original fashion illustrations and then just put everything together in, in like made a game. So nice! Oh, I get to choose the skin color as well. Um, when it comes to hair, this one is... Okay, this one is 1960s, so what the hell. This one is decent, so is this one. Uh, well, let's say this one is okay as well. This one is uh, what a 16 years old were. This one is kind of like Betty Page. This one is weird. And then the, the, the last two are like 1950s. Oh my god, this is the best! They even did like girdles and stockings. This is so good. I'm gonna pick this one because I like it. This is so much fun! You can pick a dress which is gorgeous, or you can pick like separates, which are also pretty cool. Oh! Oh! Like the only thing I'm missing in this one so far is like headpieces. Okay, I hope you guys like it as much as I do, because I could basically like print it out as a postcard. I'm kind of terrified. Like, I don't really know what to expect. Well, this looks promising so far. See, this is why I always say that 18th century is the most stereotyped? Stereo... Anyway, you, like, you get the point. I'm gonna make her, like, pinkish. Why can't I have both? Why can't I just have both of them? What's wrong with these? Why is she so worried? <laughs> like there is something wrong with these eyes. <laughs> She's like, I am so done. Oh my god. Like, why do I have to be here? Okay, let's move on to the exciting part. What on earth is this? This one looks promising. I'll just make it, like, um, red. Okay. 
I just wish I could just add these without the top hair and just make her like look like, like like an old guy with like a lot of hair at the back of the head. Oh, there is more. This is insane and I love it. Okay, now we're moving on to the fun part, um, which is ch choosing a tank top, I guess, because it's not like she's wearing a corset or anything. This is um, top quality and 100% historically accurate, by the way. Like, if you were wondering, this is what they did. They just wore like patterned tank tops. Okay, see, this is not really how you would construct and like. 18th century dress at all like because right now it kind of looks like she's wearing a tank top and then she's wearing like a loose blouse on top of it like with a very low neckline which is not necessarily what happened um looks good so far oh bro oh wait there is more okay this one is actually is a pretty nice pattern it's just that you would probably use it as a wallpaper how about that Someone got really creative with this. I kind of hope these are supposed to be sleeves. But not gonna lie, I am actually enjoying these so far. Like, it's just so awful. It's actually fun. Like, can you see these hats? And they're still, like, you can still see the hair. Oh, this one is gorgeous. She looks a bit like the lady from the lady from The Simpsons. So I hope you do appreciate this masterpiece because um, um, Marie Antoinette would wear 100%. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, and maybe I should probably stop here. Actually, this one looks promising. Victorian era. And maybe this actually is time to stop this. And that was fun, that was a lot of fun. Some of them are actually really accurate, some of them are games and it's okay. These are just games, right? Because cause the thing is like little girls are playing this and then they think this is what Victorian ladies wore <laughs> underneath. And I'm not saying it's like huge damage to their brains, but it's just not true. So if you ever happen to design a dress-up game, do some research before. So the ones that actually I've seen that were a bit more historically accurate, they're actually really fun to play and I think it's actually more exciting for people to, you know, actually dress up all the layers instead of having to, to deal with um, <clears throat> something like that. I don't really know what's the point of this video, I think I just wanted to play some dress up kings and I needed like um, an excuse. So what I was thinking for the next time is maybe, maybe you could like ask me some questions in the comments and we might do a little Q&A. I don't know, Q&As are really cringy for me for some reason, it just seems like there's a lot of like cringe involved and awkwardness and this is not precisely my favorite thing. I don't know, if you have like ideas for videos, uh, maybe just or sell them, I'd buy some. Uh, no, to be honest though, I'm kind of at the point where I don't really know why my hair is falling apart. I really know where this channel is heading exactly, so it would be kind of helpful if you expressed your needs. Uh, and since we're almost hitting 30,000 subscribers, which is actually, why would you subscribe to this channel? Maybe it's better for me to actually know what I'm doing with this, so if you have any ideas, just comment or... Mm, I, don't, I don't know how you usually do it, do you just, do you just comment or do you... Uh, I'm a useless YouTuber. What do you say at the end of the video anyway? Like, what do you usually say? I, th I feel like I should say, like, subscribe and like, like this video and subscribe to this channel, but I honestly don't care about that, so why would I say that?